Okay, today we're going to be starting with Lesson 5, SOLIDWORKS Toolbox Basics. First thing we're going to want to do is open our SOLIDWORKS uh, Toolbox. Um, and we do this by clicking on Tools, Add-ins, and then we add our uh, SOLIDWORKS Toolboxes. So we go to SOLIDWORKS and we have our Add-ins. We're going to click on our Toolbox Library and our Toolbox Utilities, and then we want them to be in there with Startup. So then we hit OK. Then we go File, New, start with a part, and uh, the part we're going to want is we're going to want to open our uh, light switch, so remember where that is. We're going to want to make an assembly uh, from this part. So here's our light switch. Click on that, and we click here, there's our light switch. We're going to come over here to our library, and we'll see here's our toolbox now. We click on our toolbox uh, for this first part. We're going to um, want to use uh, ANSI inch, A -N -S -I inch bolts and screws, machine screws, screws, and then the pan crosshead. So we'll go down this uh, ASI inch uh, bolts and screws, machine screws. And here's our pan head cross. We drag it out here, click and drag, and put it right there. Uh, now, your part might look something a lot smaller when it comes out, maybe something like this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to drag it out. And uh, we want six, number 632 with a one inch length. So we come over here and we get change this to 632. And we want the length to be one, right? And we hit OK. And then we come over here and we can just, you can see I'm, I'm not really doing anything, it's just following me around. I click on the hole and it goes into the hole. And I still have another one. Click on the hole. It goes in the hole. And then I come over here. And I just right click. And then delete this one. Say yes. And there we go. You can see there are our, our, our assembly with the pan head screws. Placed in the light switch. So we're going to file. Uh, save as. Let's call this assembly lesson five, and we're going to make file a draw uh, drawing from this assembly. We're going to pick the first one, and we can we can drag this over, and we can make it larger. And if we want, we can shade it in like this. We can hit OK. Annotation, A note. Place our name. And then we can uh, hit OK. And then we can go ahead and file and print it and hand it in. So. This takes us uh, through all of this. We answer our questions. <clears throat> and um, we're going to open our bearing block assembly next. Let's get rid of this. This file new. Oh, wait. We're going to file new. Assembly, and we want to browse, and we want to go into our folder for lesson five, and we want our bearing block assembly. We're going to open that. Here it is. We're going to go in our toolbox.
All right, we want ANSI inch. We want washers. We want plain washers type A. Preferred uh, narrow flat washer type A. Click on it, drag it out here. We want uh, 3 8 hole. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to place this here. And there. And we hit OK. We'll delete that one. So there's our washers. Now we're going to um, do bolts and screws, uh, machine screws, and drag hex screw over to place in here. Here's our hex screw. Drag it out there. We want this to be 3 eighths 24. And uh, let's change the length to be Then hit OK. Then we place that in there and that in there. We hit OK. We delete that one. All right, and then we have this. It's all set. Uh, different types of things we can have. Uh, make sure the screw fits, which it does. So we're going to um, we're going to find the section view in the view toolbar, and we're going to uh, take a cross section here to look at it. So let's go under view. section view and we want the right plane and we can cross we can move this section up To right there, and that's good. That's good enough. We have that cross section, and then we can take a look at it. And we can see it fits in here, just just right. It's a little bit large for this secondary hole. It's good for the first hole, large for the secondary hole. Uh, we could have it a little longer. If we wanted to change this, get file, 
make drawing from assembly, save, draw an assembly three. Make the first one. Make this larger. Move this around. Save this. Put our name on it and we're ready to roll. Alright, for this last part, you're gonna you're gonna do this by yourself, uh, more to explore. Um, open your bearing plate assembly and then uh, put some washers. Uh, some some screws and some bolts and washers all on put it all together all the information here go ahead and uh, make a drawing of that and print that out also